Hello everybody, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to fix all the errors in your self-ripped project from SteamDB. So this is not a private method anymore, I don't think. If it is, I'm sorry. But I'm going to be teaching you guys how to fix all the errors and then maybe if you guys want to see how to actually make it VR compatible, then, you know, tell me and I will show you. So for this, for this tutorial, I'm just going to use something that I already have. So I'm just going to use, I guess, my six tag project. Also, if you would like to help me fund for my six tag servers, because my servers are already completely full and I have to renew them like pretty much every day. Uh, if you would like to help me fund for them, then I'll leave the link down in the description. Even just a dollar helps. So thank you so much. Okay, so when you are in your project and you have your stuff open, the first thing that you can do to fix your errors is go up here to Window, then scroll down to uh, Package Manager. I have mine right here. And then the first thing you want to do is you want to install Text Mesh Pro. So you just want to, oh wait, want to go to Unity Registry right here and then search up Text Mesh. What? Text Mesh? TMP. That's weird. Um, there should be Text Mesh Pro. Unless they changed it. I mean, for some reason it's not showing up, but the first thing you have to do is install Text Mesh Pro and that should get rid of like 70 errors. So, <clears throat> Install Text Mesh Pro, and yeah. Then in here, you just want to search up Unity Dot, right? And then you just want to keep this for later. Um, then in Package Manager, you want to go to uni uh, Unity Registry again, and then search up Animation Rigging. You want it right here. You want to install this. Then what you want to do is you want to go into your Package Manager again, and then search up Burst. If it's already installed, then great, keep it. Um, then if it's not, install it. Then you want to type in input system. You want to install this right here. Then what you want to do is you want to search up mathematics and you want to install mathematics. Then you want to search up XR and you want to install these last two. So you want to install XR Interaction Toolkit and XR plugin, plugin management. Now that we have your Unity period right here in the assets, the things that you want to delete is animation rigging, so unity.animation rigging, unity.burst, unity.burst unsafe, unity.input system, unity mathematics, unity timeline, and unity XR interaction toolkit. I'll put like a screenshot of the names of them and the assets that you need to delete. So now you should have pretty much zero errors, but if you do still have errors, then just continue with this. So you just wanna go to edit, go to project settings, then you want to set up XR plugin management. And to do that on here, you just do nothing, or actually you do Oculus, or open XR, I'm so sorry. So on the desktop, you do open XR, and on Android, you do Oculus. Then you want to go down to Oculus, change this from single pass to multi pass, change this from multi view to multi pass, and turn on a uh, low overhead mode. Then you want to go to Open XR, change this from a uh, single pass to multi pass, and this as well. Then you want to change the enabled controllers, or you want to add enabled interaction profiles. You want to do the Valve Index. MetaQuest Touch Pro and Oculus Touch and then on your Android build you want to do the same or not Valve but just MetaQuest Touch Pro and Oculus Touch then on project validation you don't have to do anything and on XR Interaction Toolkit you don't have to do anything either then if you still have errors you should ha only have two errors left this is only for older uh, this is only for older uh, projects, but if you still have two errors left, they should be from GorillaTagger.cs. It might say XR device dot is present is obsolete, 
um, just double click the error go to the line that it tells you to like that there that it tells you that there's an error there and the, it should be an if statement um, just delete XR device dot is present and and but not the brackets if you delete the brackets you are you you sold you cooked anyways then click save and you shouldn't have any more errors and if you have any more errors from any script just delete that line of code and then you're done you have zero errors in your project so that's how you get rid of all the errors in your project so hope you all enjoy this tutorial and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.